Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, so here we are. I'm finally here at that uh, 2012 F550 with the P207F code, a very common code on these Fords. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean a specific code. It's just telling you that there's a problem in the after treatment system. Uh, you have to find other incorporated codes in it to be able to see what exactly is going on. Uh, but just got here. I uh, just pulled up a little bit ago. Uh, like I said, I've, I already came and kind of did a preliminary on this truck. Uh, let me show you guys what's going on right now. I'm setting up my scanner right now, so just bear with me. Give me a quick second, you guys. Trying to set this bad boy up. Here, let me go ahead and uh, put it over right here, you guys. Bear with me. So there it is. It's a Ford F550. Um, see what it's saying right there? I was saying, you guys, starting to say, uh, say engine idle, C manual, and it's showing you the def. Uh, pretty much, this thing won't go past idle. It'll just stay at idle. You give it throttle, it runs at idle. It doesn't matter what you do. You'll feel like it'll have a little bit of power, and then it just dies right out. So let me check it out, and we're going to see right now what's going on with it. Um, so here we are. I'm looking at my scanner right here. As you can see, 2012, uh, just F-Series Super Duty. It's an F-550. Mm, no factory navigation, not equipped. Hey guys, by the way, this Max Me scanner, one of the best things I've ever bought. I've owned it for about, I wanna say uh, about three years. It's an extremely good scanner. I started with it at the beginning uh, well, not at the beginning. I started with it after I got rid of my Snap-on. Actually, I didn't even get rid of it. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I left it in a truck and <laughs> my customer never returned it. So I got screwed out of a scanner there. Uh, it is what it is. Hopefully they're using it. But uh, I ended up buying this bad boy out of just need. And you know what, you guys? That need turned into a very... This is a great scanner, you guys. This MaxMe scanner is a great scanner. You don't have all the, all the, um, all the software right off the bat. You don't. Uh, you don't have all the software you have to purchase software monthly I purchase this software monthly why? because I'm not a big baller and I only work on pretty much three types of civilian vehicles which is Ford, Chevy and Dodge I also have Sprinter uh, it depends if I don't get enough work I just cancel it and then when I need it it's $20 a month for prescription uh, for subscription it's a really good system let's see so i already came one time i have the picture of the codes it had it had a p207f code uh uh redundant quality uh code and it also had a a uh, throttle correlation code and the throttle correlation code is going to have to do with the computer uh setting the uh, uh, the vehicle at idle even if you're giving it throttle the computer will not let it idle up it's trying to protect itself in case there's something wrong with the dpf if the dpf is clogged or the def is not working so you one you don't ruin the dpf and if the dpf is already ruined and clogged so you don't burn the vehicle up so there it is now it's screaming out letting me know but here let me see let me see what codes are left in it from when I came last time. Let's see. Let's see, so this time it didn't show those codes. That is not uh, an exact code. That only happens if the throttle is having a problem. But I'm going to do a quick little preliminary right now. Uh, let me see what's going on. First things first, guys. Whenever you get to these vehicles and you think you're having uh, uh, problems with your with your um, after treatment exhaust system. Before you start the vehicle, this is a cold uh, morning or cold uh, vehicle right now. It hasn't been ran yet. Uh, cold as in it hasn't been ran. What I always check right away, you guys, is I always go to the knock sensors or the or the exhaust temp sensors because that's gonna tell you, like I'll grab, um, watch this, you guys. I'll grab, where is it at? Ambient air. Um, engine coolant temperature sensor one, engine coolant temperature sensor two, and then what I'll run, I'll look at uh, exhaust gas temperature one one, exhaust gas temperature one two, exhaust gas temperature one three, exhaust gas temperature one four. 
So these are the four exhaust sensors. And what you want to do is you want to look at those exhaust sensors and see if there is any temperature difference in them. A, a drastic change that you that's obvious. So here it goes. All right, there we go, guys. As you can see outside, it's saying that it's 68 degrees right now. Uh, engine cooling one is at 55. Engine cooling two is at 53. Exhaust gas temperature one one is at 60. Exhaust gas temperature two is at 67. Exhaust gas temperature three is at 71. 67, 71. Exhaust gas temperature uh four one four is at 67 and 74 they're kind of jumping around right now uh probably because the system is is i already turned the key on so it's also warming up as the day is going so it seems like everything is good right here it doesn't seem like the problem is going to be right here because if there was an obvious like one of these especially one three one three is the one that mainly dictates a lot of what's going on it uses one three to make a lot of its decisions based on on how that gas temperature is running, it's going to dictate when the def runs. There's a certain temperature threshold that has to reach before the def starts pumping uh, into the into the DPF because you need temperature. The def is no good. Diesel exhaust fluid def is no good without the proper temperature. But let's check it out, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start it up and see see what it does, okay? Exhaust one one is always going to climb really fast. That one is coming right out of the uh, right out of the engine, literally right out of the engine. So that's one. One two is at eighty one. One three is at seventy one. One four is at fifty three. Okay. Remember all those, all those before the. Uh, before the one three, all those before the one four are 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 gonna, always going to be uh, pre pre uh, pre DPF. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to drive the vehicle a little bit. I'm going to run a few more tests, and I will get back to you guys right now and show you a little bit more. All right, guys, uh, mad love. I'll get back to you guys right now. 